my day in the shop video, you saw me making lots of rabbits. And from that I get lots of these little cutoffs that are all the same size. And usually I just throw them out, but sometimes I decide to save them and try to make something out of them. I thought I could make an end grain cutting board. So I fired up my favorite CAD program and went to work on a design. With a little help from a supercomputer. Oh, it's you. The first step was to glue one piece of cherry to one piece of walnut. Now I know what you're going to say in the comments about gluing end grain. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. Everybody gets those comments, right? It doesn't mean anything. Right? Just calm down. I'm going to be trimming the blocks with the table saw. But before we use any power tools, Let's take a moment to talk about shop safety. At the Enrichment Center, we promise never to value your safety above your unique ideas and creativity. Okay. Now, if you don't have a homicidal supercomputer to help you with the design, the nice part of having all these individual blocks is you can just lay them out and then flip them over to create your design and just keep playing with it until you come up with something that you're happy with. Then the individual blocks get glued up into rows. All right, keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. Then the rows all get run through the drum sander to make them flat. Then the rows get glued up into groups of maybe five or six just to make it more manageable. And then those groups get glued up into the entire board. I'm wrapping the board with pieces of walnut. That's partially for appearances and also because there's that end grain glue joint running all the way through the board. This is going to add some strength all along the edges. And I want to point out that on the long edges I'm using flats on wood. On the short edges, I'm using quarter sawn, and that's to match the grain direction in the field. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. Then, after going through the drum sander again, there's a whole lot of quality time with the random orbit sander. Then a little edge treatment for decoration and as a handhold. And then we can apply some mineral oil. I'm not sure how practical the double-sidedness really is, because you put rubber feet on it. Unless you put them on both sides, you can't flip it over. But, we do what we must, because we can. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, We've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. You monster. <laughs>